Hi, this is Darman. Welcome to another Minecraft Let's Play video. In this video series, I'm showing you how to build Stampy's lovely world. And in the last video, we've been working, well, last few videos, actually, we've been working on uh, the uh, Googly's Manor here, and we've got the, the top, uh, the bedrooms are all done, but we got, we got a couple of corrections up here, and that's why I love, as I mentioned before, uh, getting corrections from everybody, because then we can all contribute and uh, talk about uh why things are the way they are so we've got some of some of the corrections i got were actually led me to other corrections or well all right it's hard to explain let's first let's go to love garden and talk about who we're adding today so the first person we're adding today in the love garden is epicraft 11 and epicraft was the first person to tell me that there's a creeper face inside the chest made of tnt uh so welcome to the love garden epicraft and thank you for that tip uh, other some other people chimed in on that one as well uh, so uh, we'll be adding that and uh, killers gamers uh, and yeah sorry there's supposed to be X's on like the ends of the, the your, your name I'm sorry but that just doesn't fit on my sign your people names are too long uh, so anyway uh, killers uh, was the uh, uh, he indicated that the uh, that the pigs snout should have black uh, not gray and uh, so that that made me look at the same video that uh, actually Epicraft had uh, told me about uh, 67 I think it is for the um, crystal waters and uh, and it was black but uh, having been to his actual lovely world I do have video shots of him of it actually um, they actually are gray but the, the the eyes are also supposed to be gray I don't know why they get changed whatever um, but speaking of color changes the other uh, things that we're going to change are from uh, Let's see, uh, Jake Cobb actually was one of the people that uh, chimed in. Uh, that I, he, he was the first person to say, hey, you forgot the skeleton painting. And I saw that when I was editing that video. I was like, oh, man, I actually forgot the skeleton painting. Uh, and we have to adjust the colors of the of the top of the bed, the, the colors that are on top of the bed. Um, uh, and that was from uh, from Nicholas Booth well, a long time. He's in here somewhere. I don't know. I think he's over here. So I think I saw his name. There he is. There's Nicholas. Thank you, buddy. Uh, long time contributor. We're going to take care of all that. And there's one more thing that we're going to do uh, that I found out just by looking at some videos and my video and so forth. So, uh, yeah. So let's go back over to the build and get working on these changes and uh, continue on with our build. So the first thing we're going to fix is, uh, well, this is what we we're talking about. Uh, that these were supposed to be black and they were originally back in that uh, video number 67 i believe it was you know the eyes were black and the snout was black but i i have been to his world and i can tell you that now they are gray these are definitely gray and we're going to change these eyes out are also gray these days and uh for what it's worth that is uh how it looks now although well, as i mentioned before that there is actually no sign currently on the piggies so uh, other than that i don't think i botched this room up at all or nobody pointed anything out so let's move on oh i, t I had to take the door out to get in here um the door swings the door i i'm in the video we had it opposite of this this is the the default way that it goes in and swings out you know to the left and there was uh i think in that video it actually did swing to the left that number 67 but as i mentioned i've been there and uh, it is now swinging to the right and that some somewhere that changed so i have to let's just put that back down i just can't get out of the room the other room without uh breaking the door so i have to keep doing that so yeah so in here and uh, i've still got my torches in here i've got to take out uh and this this bed was originally all of the this green color the regular green and black uh which this still should be up here so we're going to replace this uh we're going to replace the gray with the black i'm just going to do one color at a time just to make this easy okay on how easy this is and the lime is being changed out to oh see i just ruined my i gotta get my fences back up there okay so this is going to be regular green wool as let's do this side as well and uh okay so the bed was originally these colors also but it, now i'm telling you this is exactly how it is now this is if you go to stampy's world right now you're going to see gray and lime, lime green uh unless he goes and changes it after seeing this video <laughs> just to just to just to play with us uh okay so uh oh well, here's the uh the um correction i had for myself which was there's not supposed to be a block above there above the door 
Uh, you know, you can leave it there if you want, but there are currently... Uh, there isn't, and there, I don't believe there ever has been a block up there. So, let's fix that. Uh, what else do we have? Oh, uh, the painting. Oh, we got to get this, this thing out of the way. All right, so this is the painting that has the skull and the roses. So, I'm going to point right at this block here, and that should give me uh, the one I need. There we go. Um, okay, so that's taken care of. Let's see, we fixed that. Uh, fix that. Oh, the, uh, the creeper face in here. Okay, so, in here, you probably see it on the video I'm just gonna grab the TNT here to make this all right 64 here yeah okay that's good um, all right so the face looks like this we're gonna at the top row we're going to skip the first one here we're gonna put one oops no I don't want <laughs> no wait stop stop I want to no all right hold on okay there's none in there okay that's fine all right we'll do it this way oh, oh I'm dropping things stop okay can I have that back please thank you uh, no, don't put a new painting up. Okay, so here we go. This is just not going well. All right, so let's grab the TNT. Let's see if I remember how to do this. Okay, so let's see. Skip the first one. And we're going to put one here, one here. We're going to leave two open here and then put two more here. And there should be two blocks on that side. Uh, so then under here, we're just going to duplicate what we just did underneath the next row. And then uh, in the next row, we're going to go in between and put these two in, uh, and then underneath that, we're going to put, uh, whoops, no, not there. Pick all that up. No, pick that all up. Okay, here we go. Yeah, it should be four blocks wide, so it goes like that, then another row like that, and then one more uh, on each end like that. There we go. All right, so that is that is how your creeper face should, uh, should look out of TNT. Uh, or you can do whatever you want in there, whatever, knock yourself out. Okay, so do we have everything now, I think, is good to go. I'm going to leave these torches here for now, um, just to give us uh, some light here. Uh, oh, one other correction. Before we even get started this, let me grab some, some new materials here. We're going to get some oak planks, and we have to actually move this wall back. I'm sorry about this, uh, but yeah, we need every inch of the space that for this uh, redstone. So, oh, I'm going to have to add those torches back so I can see what I'm doing. We're going to have to move. We're going to push this wall back here, and it's going to be oak uh, right up against this. Uh, that's fine. You can leave that there. Uh, he actually has that uh, as oak, uh, or the spruce, excuse me, the spruce. Uh, so let's grab a torch. Oh, I have a torch here. Okay, just put a couple of torches in uh, here. That's good. Uh, and this, if you, if you really, really want to make this accurate, uh, take this out, take this row out, and put stone uh, blocks here. And don't you? Know, you won't see it anywhere. Leave that one open there. Uh, actually, I think it's yeah. Leave that. Leave that one there because we're gonna run the redstone in here. Redstone alert! Redstone alert! Redstone alert! All right. So now, so this room, just to me, just to be clear, uh, let's see. This room is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve blocks uh, that way, and. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten blocks this way. All right. So just make sure that's pushed back that way. Uh, so if you're in here, in other words, this uh, this wall should be one block away from that hole that you made uh, in that previous video when we built the dining room. Okay. So we're going to seal that up. There used to be a door in here, but there's no longer a door here. So don't worry about that. All right. So I'm going to crawl back through here. And it, whoa. And uh, let's see. We're going to get some materials. We're going to grab some redstone stuff we're going to need a wooden pressure plate some redstone uh repeaters oh torches uh piston not a sticky piston for this part uh let's see what oh we're gonna need some, some sort of block we'll just use um uh i want to do something that looks a little different than the regular stone so i'm just going to use why am i why am i making this so so hard on myself let's just use um uh, let's just use the, the smooth stone. All right, that's fine. Yeah, that'll be fine. Okay, so uh, we're going to have to do a little instruction. It's always it's always part of a project. You know, whenever you have a project you got to do, that's you always have to do a little destructing in order to get anything done. So uh, we're going to put the pressure plate. It's going to go right here. Uh, and we're going to have to uh, knock this out. Uh, we can leave. Let's see. Let's just... Here we go. Okay, so that's we're gonna leave that like that. Now we're gonna have to um, we're actually gonna have to add. Let's just grab some some oak here. Uh, we have to add since we this is that room that's there's the tunnel that goes up from the basement, uh, and this is just that kind of dead space room. 
Uh, so we're gonna we just need to add a little bit. Uh, oh, we need to knock this out a little bit here. There we go. All right, so we want to have have that be one block down. Uh, leave that one there as a step up into this room, uh, so that we can do that easily. And there we go. All right, so now we just need to put a little redstone. You're never gonna see any of this, so you can use whatever kind of blocks you want. We're gonna put this up here, and we're gonna put one redstone blob there and one there, and we're gonna just wait. Actually, let's put two there. We're gonna put two there, one there, and then we're, we're we'll wait till we get on the other side. So we can now uh, we can actually just go ahead and cover this up. This will be fine. Uh, where's this? Okay. Oh, I just picked signs. That's not helpful. Okay, so we can just repair this here and good to go. And uh, so let's just go in back this way. Okay, now the trickiest part of this is the flip flop switch, which is right over here. Uh, that's what it's called. And uh, all right, so let's see. Let's let's do this. Map this out as easy as I can. Okay, I'm going to grab a repeater and we're going to go over to this place where we had two uh, redstones here. So we're going to turn this way. We're going to face this way. Uh, because the redstone repeaters go whichever, you know, allows electricity through whatever direction you're facing. We're going to put one here. We're going to put one more blob in front of this and then hold off. Now, we're not going to put any more redstone down. We're going to go build a little. We're going to do a little bit of building here. Okay, so let's see. From here, we're going to skip a block and then we're going to put a piston uh, facing this way. If I can do it that way. Okay, there we go. So, yeah, so there should be an open block here. The piston is here. Right next to that, we're going to knock out this here. And there should be a uh, block under there. Uh, that's fine. We're going to put a redstone torch in there. Okay, then we're going to skip a block and put another piston that way. And again, these are not sticky pistons. They cannot be sticky pistons or this will not work. Uh, and don't put anything there. Okay, now we just add, have to add a block that gets pushed back and forth. So we'll just take, use whatever. I'm just going to use this stone that I have here. And uh, above that, we're going to put one more piece of stone or whatever you're using one more block there and one more block to the right of that and all these are very important trust me trust me every single one of these blocks has a uh, has a purpose uh, and we're not using the exact materials that he used in his video it's just uh, it's a, it's redstone it, there's no need to, to get crazy with with that duplication of it uh, so right here we're going to bring two more blocks out like that and we're going to put one we're going to bring two blocks out here like this. If I can get up here a little bit and show you. And uh, we're going to add one to the right of that. And then we're going to come down here and add one diagonally. So there should be like a two block space in here. Uh, and you can just see the uh, redstone torch back there, which is really impossible to see in his videos. It took me a while to figure out how this actually <laughs> worked. Okay, so that's our little structure that we need. And we are going to put the redstone in here. Okay, so now we can take the redstone dust and bring it right up this ramp like over here and here and then back down this side we're gonna go here up here and then over to there okay so and don't put anything on this one you put that on there you're gonna ruin your chances of this working at all uh, now we're gonna need a redstone torch right above on this side right above this see that activated that one and we need one on this side as well and let's see here okay so that powers that all right so that that should do it now we need a little redstone coming dust coming right out of under here uh, and this is where you know that redstone torches is, is being hidden right now but it's it's under there so the way it works is the redstone torch of course is you know sending power all the time but let's see how do I, how can i get this to if i said some power through here is that going to move our Block, not that way. Get rid of this. Okay, there we go. Now taking that out of there, that that shifted this block back over here. This is going to be the default position that it should be in. So if it's not, if this one should be extended, that one should not. So maybe go if if it's not working like that, remove the redstone torches, put this one down first, and then put this one down second. That will uh, that will allow that to happen. So the redstone torch is down there uh, generating electricity, but it does not affect this redstone. Uh, trail until that block comes over top of it because it energizes that block which then energizes that uh, line of redstone that comes out so that's that's the basic gist of it uh, so from this point uh, let's see so electricity goes into here and then it simultaneously it makes a little trip around the room 
uh, in a delayed fashion. So we're going to take our uh, redstone repeaters and we're going to add two here, then one blob of redstone. I don't know why. Uh, and then we're more redstone repeaters all the way to the corner, not quite to the corner. We'll put one blob of redstone in the corner. Then we're going to turn, put redstone repeaters all along this wall except for the corner again. And one, two, three, four. Four? Did I just put one, two, three, four? Yep, one, two, three, four. One more blob of redstone, turn to the right, and uh, add six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then one more blob. That should line us up nicely with this. Uh, and then we just have to add three, two, three there. All right, so that is the trail uh, that when you stomp on the thing, the, the redstone activates that so it allows the pistons that we're going to do in a little bit to uh, extend. And then this, this electricity goes slowly around the room. Oh, these all have to be back. He's got all these back on the third position. So just go around the room uh, and do that. Okay. So yeah, so every single one of these is back to the third position. If you want to if you want the lights to come back on sooner, all you have to do is adjust some of these or remove some of them, and that'll that'll make that happen just a little bit sooner. Because the electricity, once it goes all the way around, uh, it will it will come in and it will go back up to this thing again, and uh, by doing so, we'll send the piston back in the other direction. So uh, we've got that in the correct default position. We've got this uh, redstone down here. Uh, we just need to send the signal upstairs to some uh, pistons in order to. Uh, actually do what we need to do. So uh, we're going to build a little kind of stairway up here and we can what we can do is sort of punch a hole if we just kind of go up here. Yeah, here we go. Uh, I'm just going to make a just enough of a hole. I don't want to go crazy up here because I need I need room to work, but I don't want to. Oh, it's, is it dark up here? All right, let's, let's grab some uh, torches real quick here. Put this down there. We don't need that. Um, hmm, let's put this uh, here. That'll be Probably good for now. We have other than that, I think we've got enough light to do this. Okay, so where do we want to build? He built it. Here's here's where he built it, and this I think this is important to follow because uh, this helps a lot. All right, so this goes. So you want to have one blob of redstone here, and then we're going to have. Oops, no, no. We're going to put one block here, then build staircase one up here, and then we want to kind of turn this direction and go up that way. Um, and he actually doesn't have these two blocks in here, so. From the redstone goes out here, it goes out, goes up one block, turns left, and goes up another block. Oh, look, I put that right in the right spot. So that should, um, we want to bring that right up to here. So that's that's exactly what we want here. Um, yep, that's good. All right, so the redstone trail, let's, uh, let's just bring it up here so we can finish this. All right, so up here, and then up here, and then up here. Uh, now we want to put down, I think one, two, three, four works pretty well. Uh, and uh, what I'm getting at is the power is going to start getting pretty thin at this point. So we're going to have to add another repeater. This one does not have to be uh, anything pulled back on it. No, that one's not. So that's just uh, four blocks from here. Uh, but if you find yourself losing power earlier, just adjust that to where we need to. Uh, it's a given for these sort of things. Uh, so uh, I'm going to swap out my regular piston. I'm going to get a sticky piston. And then I'm going to grab some glowstone, which is, oh yeah, it's down over here. That, we can put that there. Uh, it should be good for now. All right, so we know where the holes are. We've got these holes. So let's let's just hold off on that. Let's just put the pistons in and glowstone around them. So the pistons on this side, they go on each end. Oops, I want to be one block away when I put them down. And this one faces the opposite direction like, like that so it's going to be one block away so you should have those two blocks in between uh, looking like that uh, so then we're just going to take our glowstone and we're going to put it on every other side where the piston is not uh, so here and here so it's on these three sides the pistons over here and we're going to add oh we're going to need the um, we're going to need the stone brick for this one because this is what he uses over here so we're going to put stone bricks that are those that's going to attach to the uh, sticky piston there and uh, so we can't leave it open like that we have to cap it off uh, with glowstone here I'll just temporarily put that one there or you can leave it there it doesn't really matter um, like that this is how he's got it like this okay uh, and then we'll run some redstone dust to this in just a minute let's just do the other two uh, this one's uh, yeah this one faces this way 
Uh, so one block away from here, we're going to put that right there, which should be right across uh, from this one like that. And we just turn around here a little bit and put our brick here in front of it. And the other one is kind of wonky. It kind of comes from the back. So uh, one block away from there, and it faces that way. And let's just put our brick uh, like that. So now we can just put our uh, red, no, red stone, our glowstone, the other kind of glow, no, the kind of stone, uh, around this one like this, and one above it like that. Uh, now, unfortunately, we need to run. We need to run redstone because there's going to be wall over here in a minute. We need to run redstone over this mess, and we can't put redstone down on glowstone. It doesn't work. So in this case, there's only going to there's going to be one fewer block of redstone. We're going to just put uh, a regular uh, block there, and then we can put glowstone on this side, this side, and then on the top, of course. Uh, there, I can get rid of that one. Uh, again, you can leave it there, it doesn't matter. Uh, that's just the way he has it, like that. And okay, so that's there. So, all right, so there's all our pistons. There's the glowstone. Uh, yeah, and there, there's going to be some walls over here, so don't don't go straying too far from this. Otherwise, this next part that we do is going to uh, it's going to foul you up. So now we've got this redstone coming up here. Uh, it's real simple. We're just going to connect it to that one, connect it to this one. Uh, and then we're going to run the rest on forward. Don't don't go over this way. You're going to again kind of mess yourself up. We're going to go over this block here and into that piston. And this one we're just going to go forward and then make a right turn into this piston there. And that's that's it. That should do it. Uh, let's see what happens. <laughs> let's see if I let's see, let's see if I if I screwed this up at all. Uh, so let's see if I come over here and stand on the pressure play the light should go off I hear pressure okay good perfect all right so they're all closed off yep and then in a few seconds as this little clock happens you know, so here comes the redstone it's already been moving around the room since we've been gone moving around slowly moving around the room and then it's gonna go back into this and make this piston switch there we go perfect window all right so uh, that's it. That is the redstone for that. That is working perfectly. And uh, if you're having any trouble, if, the, if these are not, you know, getting enough signal, just make sure you've got enough signal coming up here. Add a, a repeaters as needed. Just don't pull back on any to delay them at all. But you should be okay if you're if you're following this general uh, uh, pattern here. And uh, and again, you can you can adjust this as you want. You could. Um, you know, I'm just giving you how Stampy laid it out. This is, you know, could be done different ways probably. Um, so you can have fun trying to figure out other ways to do it. That would be really cool. Uh, yeah, there's supposed to be a sign over here that says flip-flops, which I'm not going to get into the, you know, that level of detail. I think that's just a little overkill here for our purposes of getting this uh, room to work correctly. And, uh, and so it does. Uh, so actually, you know what? Let's go upstairs. Let's finish the upstairs. We are, we, we are not going to finish this googly manner today we're going to get the inside completely done we're going to finish we're going to do this um over here uh is the 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 spawner and um then we'll uh, in the next video we'll do all the outside all the grass all the uh trees and the stuff on the sides the vines and so forth uh so first what we're going to do is you know what actually first what we're going to do is remove the roof uh well not the entire roof, just the, the flat part that's up here you know like you know that starts up here see that just adds so much light oh i didn't really want to do that one there but uh anyway so let's uh let's just take um actually i'm gonna go up here uh i got rid of one one uh what do you call it stair that i did not want to get rid of did not want to get rid of that that's okay we'll put that right back uh here but uh, although uh, oops there we go okay so otherwise you know we can just take the roof off. you don't have to do this part but this is going to be easier for me and give us a little better light uh so let's just take off the roof over just over to here if you're going to take it off uh just take it to here don't uh don't go any farther you know like over there or anything like that so let's just take uh finish taking that roof off see this makes it much easier to uh to work in here and i can give you a little bit better views uh in here so uh, we've got this uh, trail of redstone coming up here. What we're going to do is, um, well, the, the object is to eliminate as much light as possible from the room that's up here. So he kind of doubled up the inside of the roof on parts. So, But first we want to create the, the wall that starts here. Uh, and uh, you, you can really make this, just put it in wherever you can fit it. Um, but the way he's got it is right here. 
uh, and it runs along the redstone there and uh, stops uh, obviously here we can't go any farther than that and we're going to come out one block here oh this is going to well this is going to be taller of course uh, right up here it's going to be three blocks tall here and um, then when we, when we put the roof back on it'll that'll finish all that uh, let's see we're going to put three here so can I do that one two three there uh, and then just put uh, two back here like this and he didn't put one there for whatever reason uh, and then over here uh, let's see we're gonna put one behind this glowstone here two, three uh, another one another stack behind there and then one to the right of that one and then we just need to kind of fill in this uh, part over here to see completely seal that off I want to completely seal because there's gonna be water in here we don't want that any possibility of that getting over here and ruining the redstone that would be that'll be very 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 bad so this is this is how this looks and you can make again make this work however you want because this is kind of an empty space over here uh, the water is over on this side uh, so right here though we want to make uh, another wall uh, from this top part here if you're inside uh, and didn't if you didn't break off the roof just take, take a peek up here to see where these steps stop and you want to go right underneath the last step right is that lined up okay uh, yep yeah. okay yep yeah, that's good uh, i'm going to bring that straight across and some of the materials i'm i'm not using all the he was desperate and he was using stone and wood and whatever he had in his chest uh in his pockets to uh, to do this but we're just going to use uh stone for our purposes here uh do, do and lock that off and there we go so now we've got a nice solid wall that way and over that way and uh no water is getting through there so that's good all right so so two blocks away from this part here, this wall here, one, two, actually I guess it's the third one. We're going to draw a line. This is where the uh, the water comes into play here. We're just going to one block high wall, to eh, going all the way across again just to make sure it does not uh, stray at all. And then on this end we're going to add two more blocks on the on the top here. And then we're going to add a row, two rows of blocks underneath here and I got to get under these it's hard to work under these eaves over here. I don't know is that what they're called. I don't know, but just got to bring that all the way across there. And then we're going to go back over to the right and count five empty spaces. And then we're going to make another little wooden wall. So there's one, two, three, four, five. And then on the sixth one, just make one more little wall like that. And then in front of that, we're going to bring this out eight blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then punch a hole out uh, right at the end of that. Okay. So, uh, now, uh, we need to eliminate more light because this is, again, I said he had doubled up the roof under, you know, on the inside. So we're just going to use st solid blocks and go underneath here and just add another layer here. Another, yeah, another layer under here. Don't, don't build it all the way down. Leave that one space under there. And uh, let's bring this over to here. Uh, this I think came all the way across here yeah uh, although it doesn't really matter for the most part under here since we're gonna have a wall uh, here in just a minute uh, did I fit no no that wall there okay no uh, we do want to complete that under there double that up get that doubled up uh, let's see and then we're gonna double up the next one up here this is gonna be f yep put that in the corner and bring that all the way across and now we're left with this and again you don't uh, don't put um don't put any blocks under there this is how this is how he's got it so the roof is effectively doubled up underneath the edges and we've got this wall here so that's gonna that's gonna block out as much light as, as really as possible so at this point we just need to add some water uh which we should be able to uh just put one bucket in each corner here and that's going to spread and it should just reach this edge here yeah perfect uh so there should be yeah, there's one two three four five blocks here and one two three four five blocks there because you don't you do not want to put that last row underneath there of bricks so that should kind of equalize with that one in the case okay, so now we've got both uh heading in that direction so any googlies that were to to wander like in this area and i'm not touching my joystick it's going to push me directly in there eventually once we get these uh, the next ones done uh, so then you just have to put five buckets of water on the end here and that's going to flow down and should reach right to those yep should meet up there perfectly and same thing over here 
Uh, although we've only got four here, that's okay. We it's just the way it is. It's a little smart. Two, three, four. There we go. Uh, and that's going to spread out there. And you'll see that it'll probably that there's that one block that doesn't have any. But you don't have to worry about that because any kind of googly that got in here, uh, there's no way they could possibly you know get over here. Uh, and they probably won't get stuck, anyways. But uh, so if I'm a googly, ugh, where am I here? This is. You know, let's put let's put one under here. Is that is that too much to ask? I think that'll help that. I think that's good. Let's do that. So I added one underneath that shelf that was there. Uh, so if I'm a googly, I'm not flying, and I hop in this water. I'm just going to turn my camera. Around. I'm not moving my my movement joystick around. And it's gonna. I don't want to get dropped in there, but it's going to drop you right in there. Anything. All right. Maybe I can illustrate it with a, you know, dropping a some block of something here so it's gonna oh, where is it okay there it is and it should go right end up right downstairs eventually it's a little weird but okay there it goes yeah <laughs> kind of like the uh, the tree farm that we built a long time ago basically this same exact uh, concept uh, so that is perfect that's exactly right and we've got this over here uh, now there actually should be a hatch that goes down and should be Let's see, if we line it up from here, from the second block here, and I pull back over to here, right here, there should be, where is it? Oh, did I, I think I did that right. It should be, there we go. Uh, yeah, because if we're down in this room, like this, oh, it's drippy now. Uh, we'll grab some ladders, and he's got it. Not that you necessarily need this, but he does, he does have ladders going up this one wall, here like that, and then he's got a hatch. Let's fix this. Uh, and then there's a brick there, and there's a hatch that goes here and attaches to that brick so that it flips up this way. Uh, and then there's actually wooden uh, oak stairs here. Uh, there we go. I guess any googlies, let's hope that they would just step up and you know, make it easier for the uh, for the googlies to get up there. And um, that's as far as the stairs goes. No need to uh, to make them go any farther than that. Uh, so now at this point, uh, we don't put any, obviously you don't want any torches in here. So now we can just replace our roof. Our magic helper is going to do that. Um, yeah, let's just go ahead and uh, put that back on. And now everything is nicely sealed in here. In fact, I kind of wanted to get in there, but um, that's all right. Uh, I'll just kind of pop one, uh, one of these bricks out and get down in there. There we go. All right. So now, obviously there's plenty of room, uh, plenty of light, I mean to say, up here. So it should be... This should look something like this, and you've got uh, yeah, the glowstone over there, glowstone over everything, and uh, yeah, this one, this one right here is only has three pieces of glowstone around. All the rest have uh, one, two, three, yeah, four uh, over, all around it. And there's you know, you, if you want to do this a different way, again, that's always the case that you can just simply uh, do that. Now he does have a, um, there is like a ladder that comes up here. Um, if you're really interested, in, I, I, there's not really, obviously, really necessary for our purposes, really. But there was a pillar down here, and actually, it helps with the light, because we can put a torch on here. Uh, and the pillar lines up with, yeah, with this block here, and it doesn't really, does it really matter? Uh, so it lines up, yeah, with this block here. I'm going to point down the floor uh, at this redstone repeater. I'm going to leave one block empty, and, and it's going to go right here, right up to the ceiling, like that. Uh, and then obviously you're going to poke that out and basically his, his kind of goes like this and actually these two are actually filled in as well uh, and then he's just got a ladder that goes down here and if I grab a torch I can put that on the uh, it would be a torch like here on the front these these torches here aren't you know they aren't really official placements it's just just there for convenience uh, so if you're if you are doing this on um, Survival mode, you know, this will be the way, obviously, to climb up here, uh, the easiest way. Uh, and this is just sort of empty. I think I think this is like, maybe goes out too, like this. Uh, and I think this part back here is probably, uh, you know what, actually, yeah, actually, this should be uh, all filled in all the way down. I mean, it's going to be hard to reach back there, but yeah, this, this should go all the way along this edge as well. Oh, I just fell down <laughs> along this as well. Just blocking out as much light as possible. He was trying to, uh, at the time. Uh, we don't want to go uh, any farther than that. No, uh, any up farther. So I can just sort of squeak a couple more back here, and this will actually help make the bedroom darker. 
uh, that way like that. And did I get the one behind the glowstone? Yeah, okay, I got that one. Yeah, so so bring that down. That'll help the bedroom get a little bit darker because with the stairs there, they just sort of, they just don't really get that dark uh, as as well. So that's that's. I'm glad I I I remember that. There's one thing I can say that I and I did not forget. Okay, so that all right. So we've got working redstone. Let's just double check it one more time. And then we can repair this wall. Get these torches out of here and uh let's just check this here come walking through here hey wow look at this cool keeper bedroom and uh, oh it's completely dark oh well it would be if, if i took these torches out uh I'll take these out since i'm here mm -hmm. he had like a zombie in his room when he came in it was so dark uh oh and there we go so now we can see the glowing over here uh well it's not so easy actually let's get rid of that repair this and i'm gonna need some bookcases to obviously fix this up and uh oh there goes the lights back on let's just uh put that back and put these back and there we go all right so if we it'll probably be darker now if i do this where's my okay here we go da -dee -dee, and let's wait for these to shut off there we go oh yeah it got much darker okay uh and then the only light is kind of coming from here which is the whole point and then you go down there and uh that's it so, uh, I'm not going to end my video in the redstone, which is kind of where I'm spending my time today. But, um, let's, uh, let's go to the roof. So in the next video, we will finish up the outside, uh, the trees, the, you know, we'll put some grass around. Uh, I'm not, uh, I can't really tell you the exact location of the grass because it's just, it's sort of random and it's also, uh, well, it is quite random, but it is, uh, also... It, it doesn't lay down the same way. It used to lay down in exact neat little rows, um, but when we lay it down, it's not going to be that way. And it's going to look not, either way. It's not going to look exactly like Stampy's is my my point. So anyway, so uh, we'll do the vines and all that on the last one. Uh, but the inside is done. And until I hear otherwise, uh, somebody can uh, let me know if I fouled something up here. But until then, I'm Darwin68. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.